Toronto Community Benefits Network, we're a 71 member strong community labor coalition. We use the approach of negotiating community benefits agreements to create jobs and opportunities through investment in urban infrastructure, in urban development and infrastructure. Um, following close to 10 years of mobilization for community benefits in neighborhoods across the city, a steering committee made up of community and labor activists came together and incorporated the TCBN in 2014. Would like to recognize uh, two colleagues in the room um, in this uh, work, Steve uh, Schallhorn, who developed the TCBN at the corner of his desk, and Rick Cicerelli, uh, right here, um, who is a stalwart in ensuring that the environmental foundation of the TCBN never gets uh, left behind. And of course, you'll hear from John. <laughs> um, so TCBN signed Ontario's first successful community benefits framework uh, with Metrolinx for the Eglinton Crosstown and Finch LRTs. Uh, the Eglinton Crosstown alone is $5.3 billion uh, investment of taxpayer funds, um, which not only provides for a more sustainable transportation system, but it also produces good green jobs, which can be targeted locally. After two years of negotiations, partners can be proud to finally achieving consensus, consensus in negotiating a hiring target of 10%. There is your possibility right there of 350 jobs to, add to, in, to put into your $1 million climate jobs. Um, we have now reached the implementation stage and we're experimenting with a model in direct partnership with the unions of how to support the integration of marginalized communities, uh, particularly youth, women, racialized people, newcomers, urban aboriginals, and veterans into the construction industry. But more than just jobs, the community is also advocating for community hubs near the transit infrastructure, the maintenance and storage facility in Jane and Finch and in Mount Dennis, as well as other mixed uses, uh, potentially including affordable housing and space for social enterprises. In Weston and Mount Dennis, residents are taking leadership in developing a community energy plan and an equal neighborhoods initiative. We're doing this important work because income inequality in Canada has increased over the last 20 years and concentrated in many of our communities we're seeing the negative impacts of systemic poverty, such as violence and crime, addictions and mental health issues. And as society transitions into the green economy, there will be a disruption in the types, quality, and quantity of jobs that are available, and the economic crisis for people who are already living on the margins or working on the margins of society will only get worse. Um, York University's work in a warming world, uh, I studied with Carla Lipsig um, there at uh, York, Ryerson's University, uh, Ryerson University's Green Gap Research, and Labor Council's Green Print that you see um, in the center of the, uh, the room there, it all underscores this reality. Our society truly needs to develop and fair and equitable transition policy for youth and other historically economically disadvantaged groups that has the potential for creating jobs while helping to address society's concerns about climate change. CBAs can serve as such a transition policy. Putting residents to work towards building up their communities not only makes good social sense, but it makes good economic and environmental sense. TCBN's advocacy for community benefits is showing signs of progress. We are encouraged to see the City of Toronto incorporating community benefits as part of their policies and overall strategies. Most recently, as we know, the City has called for major investment in building retrofits in their Transform TO um, recommendations to reduce the City's carbon emission uh, by 80% in 2050, and we applaud that and want to be there as, as full support. The community is ready to build. At the provincial level, we're encouraged to see that the province is finally starting to work on and developing those regulations to support the Infrastructure for Jobs and Prosperity Act. 
And at the federal level, we're also encouraged to see the private member's bill on community benefits reintroduced into the House of Commons. As you know, cities across Canada will benefit from unprecedented spending over the next 10 years in public infrastructure. Let's join the movement for community benefits now and give a fighting chance for all of our communities to successfully transition into the green economy. Thank you.